just read to us in the car. I really can't. I keep picturing myself in place of that firefighter, and I don't think I could ever jump to save someone else. That's scary. I just don't understand how someone could have so much love in their heart, enough to risk their own life. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Good morning, kids. Abuna. It's great to see you, Julie and Joseph. I see you've already heard about what happened in the news yesterday. Oh, we have Abuna, and I don't think we've ever heard a greater love story. Oh, have you not now? No way. Well, I think I know one that's even greater. Follow me. So, come on, Abuna, please tell us. We can't wait any longer. Well, the greatest love story ever. Actually involves God and you. God and us. Well, of course. Don't you know that Jesus loved us so much that he left heaven, heaven that's full of all the beautiful angels and his throne, and chose to be crucified for our sins. He did all that to save us from death, so that we can live with him in heaven forever. Wow, Abuna! I never really thought of it that way. That's definitely a love story like no other. I agree, and the church lives through the story every year during a special week called the Holy Week. The Holy Week. Yes, Holy Week is the holiest week of the year. The church takes us day by day through the journey of our Lord's suffering and passion in the week before His crucifixion, and we remember all the events that took place. Wow. I really want to attend that. Oh, please tell us everything about Holy Week, Abuna. What happened during Holy Week? How did it all start? And what does the church do now? And what are the hymns? Can I learn them? Can you teach us? <laughs> Slow down, Julia. Slow down. Let's start at the very beginning. The week starts with Palm Sunday. On Sunday, our Lord entered Jerusalem riding a colt. Which is a baby donkey. Can you believe he left his big, great throne in heaven and replaced it with a simple colt? That's how modest and loving our Lord is. Many, many people who had heard of Jesus crowded with anticipation and eagerness, awaiting his entry. They greeted Jesus by spreading lots of clothes on the path before him. They even cut down big, beautiful palm tree branches, laid them down on the ground, and waved them in the air with excitement. And that's where the name Palm Sunday comes from. It was a glorious entry. They shouted, "Hosanna! Hosanna!" Which means, "Save us! Save us!" Chanting, "Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest!" Wow, Abuna! I can really picture in my head the scene of Jesus Christ entering Jerusalem. That must have been a day full of so much joy and happiness. It was Joseph, and that's why when you go to church on Palm Sunday, you'll notice the church celebrates this special occasion with magnificent, joyful tunes. Oh, Abuna! Is that also when the church is beautifully decorated with palm branches? And the cross you hold, Abuna, it's usually even made of palm branches too. I remember exactly, Julia. Well done. Palm Sunday is one of the major feasts, and a lot happens in church on that day. Well, during matins, you'll see a stunning procession of the cross. Abuna and the deacons walk all around the church, starting from the sanctuary through to the nave of the church. They raise incense in front of each of the saints' icons. Not just that. Before the procession, a beautiful hymn called "Evlogi Menos" is sung. On Palm Sunday, during the liturgy, the deacons read this event from all four gospels, not just from one. The responses of the praying crowd to the gospels are different on Palm Sunday. The crowd responds with beautiful, happy tunes after each of the gospels. After the first gospel, they sing "Hosanna in the highest." After the second, they sing "He who sits on the cherubim." After the third gospel, they sing, "They spread their garments in the way," and finally, after the fourth, they sing, "Today the sayings were fulfilled." You wouldn't believe the joyous atmosphere in the church on that day. The church then ends the day with Abuna praying the general funeral prayer service after liturgy, 
as no incense is raised for those who depart during Holy Week. And during the service, Abuna blesses everyone with water. This all sounds amazing, Abuna. I can't believe I never used to notice all these details. I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for them now. Let's try to learn the responses to the gospel together, Julia, so we can sing them on Palm Sunday with the whole church. Oh, yes, that's a great idea. What happens next, Abuna? Thank you.